Americans think of San Diego as one of the country's most beautiful recreational cities. But these days, it's building a new identity. San Diego is quickly earning a reputation as ground zero of the Christian marriage movement in California. That's because it was churches here that began the petition drive that put the marriage amendment on the ballot. And those churches now are organizing a get out the vote drive for November. There's many phone calls after midnight. There's conference calls after midnight. There were emails going at 4.15 a.m. this morning. It is ratcheted up and it is intense. Three San Diego pastors, Jim Garlow of Skyline Church, Chris Clark of East Claremont Southern Baptist, and Miles McPherson of the Rock Church are leading the movement with ambitious plans. 5,000 energized pastors who will help get out 7 million votes. Political scientist Thad Kauser says their work is key. Churches will absolutely be the organizational heart of, of this support campaign. We've already had a conference call with a thousand pastors. Miles McPherson is a former San Diego Charger turned megachurch pastor who gets it. His campaign challenge, reaching young voters who support gay marriage. Right now they're, they're driven by the wrong information and a lot of emotion. I don't want to be a bigot. I don't want to discriminate. We should be fair. But they don't understand, one, the facts of uh, the dangers of homosexuality, but also what loving somebody means. You love somebody by helping them obey God. But not all pastors are jumping on board. Some say they don't want to get political. My response to that is we're not political. Uh, the institution of marriage predates any government that was established on earth. So we're not being political, we're being biblical. Brian Brown of ProtectMarriage.com leads fundraising in support of the marriage amendment, also known as Proposition 8. The amendment would override the state Supreme Court's ruling and make only heterosexual marriage legal. So far, both sides have raised about $4 million each, but many expect those opposing Prop 8 will raise considerably more. Everything about uh, what we believe in and the importance of mothers and fathers is at stake. Uh, the, the very core social institution, the family, that's at stake. And it's not just California. Indeed, campaign contributions on both sides show interest across the country. Denver-based gay activist Tim Gill gave a quarter million to oppose the amendment. The Washington, D.C.-based human rights campaign gave one million. On the other side, Focus on the Family gave a quarter million and the American Family Association gave half a million. But those supporting the amendment extend beyond just evangelical circles. A lot of religions, both Christian and non-Christian, are concerned about the issue. As Mark Stern with the American Jewish Congress recently wrote, the state Supreme Court seems to believe that once outside the church or synagogue doors, equality is always more important than religious liberty. There is no protection for pastors right now. If I, if I were to refuse to perform a same-sex wedding, I could be sued, I could be fined, the church could lose its tax-exempt status. The fears of many California pastors have already been realized across the country here in Ocean Grove, New Jersey. That's because the state civil rights division is investigating this Christian campground by the beach. At issue, it's refusal to host a lesbian civil union ceremony. Our assumption was that when they discovered this was a worship facility, they'd understand and we could work out something where they could do it somewhere else. But despite miles of New Jersey beachfront to choose from, several lesbian couples chose the Christian campgrounds pavilion for their commitment ceremony. In the ensuing legal battle, the campground lost part of its tax-exempt status. No religious organization should be forced to use their facilities, places of worship, for things and behavior that is completely at odds with their core Christian beliefs. You can't miss the equality flags flying amidst the rows of historic homes in Ocean Grove these days. The division is clear. People want to have a relationship, and if they want to make some kind of acknowledgement that it should be allowed, it's not really hurting anybody. Those kinds of sentiments will lead over 100,000 gay couples to marry in California in the next three years. They'll spend close to $700 million in the process, and they'll make for a very close race this November if current polls and past history are any indication. When initiatives begin a race very, very closely divided, those initiatives normally lose. But many Christians we spoke with are confident. When you get into the voting booth, when it's just you and the Lord, I think people will vote the correct way. In the meantime, 
gay marriage continues in the Golden State, complete with wedding applications for Party A and Party B. And churches continue to pray, knowing that a November defeat will create a hostile climate for any Californian who opposes gay marriage. Heather Sells, CBN News, San Diego.